expect you to play earlier, and these guys as competitors, they'll take their lumps early, but they'd rather be on the field. So they'll come up first in 10 now from the 33. Watch tight, tight end. Go, go. Tight Lock now on first down. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. He's got a man complete. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. Well, there's a pretty big start right there. They go bombs away on the first play from scrimmage. Put a smile on your face, didn't it? Not because you're rooting for anyone, but that's the way to begin a game, to put someone back on their heels and announce that they plan to be aggressive. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Now a first carry for Melvin Gordon. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. The offensive starters now for the Broncos. And a big key is going to be how can these wideouts create separation from the defensive backs because we've seen some early success in the passing game in this one, and that's going to need to continue. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Faking the give to Lindsey. Here's Locke. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 14. Well, they're piecing together a nice drive to start this one. Seems pretty scripted and pretty successful so far. And I think they did it without our help. Because you remember when we sat in with the, in the production meeting with them to talk about this and, hey, you know, how are you guys going to come out of the gate? I know I offered my help with a few plays, and they didn't I, seem to want it. I didn't offer it. mine. You, know, you, were, you were the smart one. Whatever they're doing, though, it's working really well. Our game not even two minutes old, but a quick red zone opportunity. It's first and 10 at the 14. And he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. 14 more yards. That's another. Come on, come on. Now lock. And this is caught. So he fakes the spike and they get the touchdown. In for the score. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. And the mile high air in full effect as that's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. So here are the Giants ready to start their initial drive of the game. And leading them out there, their 6'5 quarterback. And what's a quarterback's best friend? Balance? I think you're right. <laughs> I agree with you. You know, a lot of guys would say great receiver, right? A terrific offensive line. But I agree with you, balance, because if you can run the ball effectively, that just opens things up for guys who want to throw it and gives you easier passing lanes and easier coverages to read. And they said balance will be a focus in this one. Yeah, they don't want it all just heaped on his shoulders, I don't believe. I think they want to make sure they take some of the pressure off. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Here's a second and two now from the 33. It's Barkley on the counter. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Here's the offense, and we give you too much power here. We let you highlight the player. Why'd you choose Zeitler? Because I think the big guys up front never get enough credit. Kevin Zeitler, a guard, tough, nasty. We've got to give him some love. No, no, no. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Got what he needed for the first down with a gain of two. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Jones now operating from the gun. Finding Sterling Shepard for his first catch. 22 yards on the catch and run. A first down. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. 
And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And here's a look at the defense for Denver. Terrell Casey doesn't get the attention that he deserves, but he is an absolutely terrific defensive tackle, the best player on just about any team he would play on. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Jones going to throw again. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Kareem Jackson. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The rookie was trying to push it downfield, but the safety bit him. And he'll learn that you have to hold the safety. And you do that with your head movement, your eyes, sometimes your shoulders. Hold the safety so that you can get back to the throw that you really want to make. He got so excited thinking his guy was open that he made it easy for the defensive back to go get the football. And Denver getting set to take the field. And certainly they'll be hoping to hit pay dirt like they did on the last drive. Got the football back, so a chance to go up two scores. And they haven't been tentative at all in this ball game because sometimes you start a... Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. Picked off at about the 31. And they'll have the ball set up in the red zone at the 16-yard line. That time defensively looked like they showed quite a bit of pressure but backed off and it proved fruitful. They get the pick. He went through all of his rules about getting rid of the ball quickly because he read blitz. He saw all those people stacked at the line of scrimmage and then they fooled him by dropping into coverage. Now he's ready to get rid of the ball fast, but guess what? Too many defenders out there. Exactly as you described, an interception. On second down, here's Barkley. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Four yards on the play, and that leads to the first and goal. Now Jones. Tate bringing it in for the giant touchdown. It's a six-yard touchdown pass as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. PAT up and good by Rosas. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And we are tied at seven. This one taken from the seven. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive followed by an interception last time out. Now it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 17 yards for the Broncos there as they've got themselves a first down. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. Denver has the first down, the play going for 15 yards. These two teams all tied after one. Now Gordon on first down. And he'll slice his way down to the 30 with a pickup of seven. On second down, it's Gordon. And he'll get about three as he's brought down to the 28. Not a whole lot of room to maneuver there, and I think that's because everyone took care of their responsibilities, filled their gaps, held their place. No place for him to run. Yeah, look good. Everything got funneled to the nose tackle. They swallowed him up. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. They sure went against conventional wisdom, calling a pass on third and inches. Had to be thinking to themselves, the defense is going to overcommit against the run. Should be an easy pitch and catch. Didn't turn out that way. So on fourth down, on comes Brandon McManus and the field goal unit for the Broncos. And this will be a 45-yard attempt. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. 
So that's a seven-play drive that ultimately stalls out there at the end. And things were a little leaky in the beginning on that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? As they got closer to the goal line, things stiffened a little bit first the field goal. Yeah, not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Barkley on first down, running into a wall as he stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. The big man, Jarrell Casey, in on the stop. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. This ball complete. Jones to Ingram. That throw good for four. It's second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. On second down now, Barkley, and he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. On third down, Jones got a man, Slayton. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. It's a giant first down on a gain of 16. Now Jones on first and 10. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. It was Bryce Callahan jarring the ball free defensively. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Here's Jones to throw again. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. Draymond Jones just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. But nothing takes to start to have a good drive quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Justin Simmons. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. A minute 55 left to go in the first half of play. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Oh, Shane Zeminis. He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Down, 30 base. On third and long, it's locked. And that'll wind up incomplete. Bold play call there. Now it's fourth down. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender is making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant to the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Hits his guy out in the flat. And so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you either throw on the touchdown 
or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down. A nice safe throw and a good one. So first and 10 now from the 30. From the gun, Jones. It's hauled in by Shepard. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. He'll get 15 and a Giants first down. Jones now on first down. And that'll be incomplete. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back in pass rush. They've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync, only way to play good defense. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all, and now they're looking at third down here. Jones from the downhill throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. So they won't get a touchdown, but here's a chance to at least get three to end the first half. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. So they won't get a touchdown, but here's a chance to at least get three to end the first half. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Rosa's kick is good. And that will tie things up as we head toward halftime. So they're able to make things level just before half and also leave very, very little time on the clock. And I love the way that you phrased that. Brought a little soccer into it. And that's really apropos considering they just kicked a field goal to tie things up. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. Time here for likely one play, and then these two teams will head to the locker room all even. And you know the play caller's just feeling it right now. Let's go ahead and go for this one. A big shot down. No, no, no. Guarantee the head coach is like, don't get crazy. Take the knee. Let's get out of here. Tie game. We'll just start all over. So, due to time constraints, we move you forward in today's broadcast to the beginning of the third quarter. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And New York set to take the field. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that'll give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Throwing Jones. He completes it to Tate. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First down, Giants on a pickup of 14. Jones now, 11 of 17 passing thus far. He's got his guys a first and 10. Now this pass into the hands of Saquon Barkley. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. So a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 36. Now Saquon Barkley. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. Here's second and nine. Just a yard on that last run. Laundry on the field. This is going to be a false start on the offense. Sometimes you have to slow things down a little bit when things get heated. The cadence has to be slow and deliberate at times to make sure your team's ready to go. A full five-yard loss that time. It's going to make second down pretty tough. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he'll lose yardage here back at the 41. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. The last catch took him two yards in the wrong direction. So now what can they do on third? Back to throw. Jones. He'll get this out to Barkley complete. And he'll get it down on the plate of the 37. 
Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. And we will remain tied here in this third quarter. Charles, 54 yards. I'm surprised that came up short. I would agree with that one because normally, if he misses, it's accuracy, not length. Because he has plenty of leg for that. But maybe it's like I hit my golf shot. You know, maybe it's like my wedge. You know, when you chili dip and you hit the ground ahead of it, sometimes that'll shorten your distance as well. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. So statistically, both of these offenses having a rough time getting a running game going. But boy, what a nice play there defensively. Tackling him behind the line, but you're right. You look at the numbers. Neither side looks on track in the ground game. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing now is locked. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he'll get this up near midfield, but that's still a few yards shy of the first down. Here's Locke. And they're going to try the screen. It's complete. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Broncos first down. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Locke now on first down. He completes this to Sutton. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. That one good for 13 and a Denver first down. On first and 10, it's Lindsey. And he's going to take this down to about the 17. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. From the 17, Lock eluding the pressure right. And that is incomplete. How about the defensive effort from both of these teams that we've seen in this game? Would you say it's like a high-stakes chess match right now? Uh, chess is one way to go. Uh -huh. Yeah, I like it. Okay, the only reason I say that, you feel like they're contemplating their moves before actually making one, and none of them being done very confidently. Well, truth be told, I've never played chess, and I know that I'm not smart enough to play chess. Guys like you with your IQ, you can pull that off. They'll run on first down. Gordon, and he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. They keep it on the ground again, Gordon. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here's Locke to throw. Flush to his right. He can, and he will score. Touchdown, Denver. Drew Locke, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And they are able to break the tie and move out in front here in this fourth quarter. I'm pretty sure that that was a passing play, but he took off pretty quickly and ran with it. Love his decisiveness on it because you're exactly right. He was supposed to go back in the pocket and survey the field and throw the football. But when that hole opened, he just said, forget it, let's go. And boy, did that work out well. McManus's point after is good, and that makes it a 17-10 score. A pretty long drive that time, 11 plays all told. And in the end, it's capped off by a seven-yard run. Fielded about a yard deep. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Now Jones, throwing on first down. He'll be brought down by the Broncos. It's a sack. The sack there by Bradley Chubb. Now we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, really didn't give anybody a chance. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Credit the sack to Von Miller. Needs something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Looking to throw. Jones finds his tight end, Ingram. They get 13, but it's not nearly enough. And it'll be fourth down. 
One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. 35 yards on the return. Picked up some good blocks as well. And it'll be a short field for the Broncos as they take over first and 10. On first down, Lindsey. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. They'll go again with Lindsey. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now. Just stop them, get to the ball. That means it might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. 17 yards for the Broncos there as they've got themselves a first down. Now a man open down the middle of the field and inside the 20 before he's brought down. That one going for a gain of 11 and a Bronco first down. Block now. Perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and 10. Now the pressure gets there and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. Give the sack to Lorenzo Carter. Now following the sack, they'll come up here on a second down and 12. Now Locke throwing on second down. And he rifles one incomplete. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open. And this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. So it's Bronco football as we get your reset here. They're looking at a fourth down now as they try to hold on to this lead for dear life. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. First and goal, Melvin Gordon. And he will take it in for a Bronco touchdown. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Broncos push further out in front. Well, it'd be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now, but... I'm looking at your face, and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Well, it's a two-score game. You're inside of two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. Can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Puts his field at the goal line. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut it, all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But so, hey, listen, there's some guy, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. Chewing up big yardage, another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. And he's going to go down, sacked right around the 17. Von Miller in there to drop him as that clock continues to run. Jones hit, and the ball's out. It's picked up by the Broncos. He's at the 50. 
He's at the 40. Past the 20. 10, 5. And that might just submit it. A return for a late touchdown. The offense, they've had some sloppy moments. Sloppy there again on that one, and it could be the backbreaker. From a defensive perspective,